Flame breathing does exist, but that's not fire breathing. Flame breathing must never be referred to as fire breathing. The flame Hashira, Rengoku, might know yep. something about this technique. But unfortunately, he's out on a mission. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny, and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to episode 25 of Demon Slayer, Tsuguko Kanao Tsuyuri. We're in the middle of a bit of a training arc here where Tanjiro is learning to do continuous concentrated breathing. I'm looking forward to this training arc now that more people know that there's like a possibility to kind of coexist. Yeah, I and I'm also I'm just excited to see Tanjiro work with this new breathing and then maybe the Hinokami, the flame style he was learning. Hopefully he can try to incorporate it with that. But uh, mm -hmm. we're going to have to see. Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe down below if you're excited for more Demon Slayer coming every Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes ahead, including the Mugen Train movie, check out the Patreon linked in the description below where they are all posted in their extended full length forms right now. All right. Are we excited for episode 25 of Demon Slayer? Absolutely. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. Heads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Ooh. The ah, butterflies a in a cocoon. Is it a cocoon? I think it's they're interchangeable. Mm. Oh. Nice. Oh. You good? I just hit my funny really so hard. Ooh. Please let me try again. Sir! Thank you. Try your best. Inosuke is still kind of defeated at this point. Mm-hmm. You know, this reminds me of what you what telling me that I'm sleeping on my neck wrong. <laughs> she always does. Again, and every time Kenny wakes me up in the middle of the night and he's like, Montana, you need because I I like sleeping she'll sleep with my face neck. down like a dead person. Just with my and then she'll wake up and go, oh, my there's like God. a pillow here. Oh, right? my, my and I head. Just, I'm like, oh my, oh my god, my neck hurts And the next so day, badly. she has to spend the whole day recovering. So I've gotten to the point now where when I'm in the middle of the night, I always check Montana. And if she looks face down, I, I we have a system now. I get her and I go, and neck. she'll go, oh. It's just you again today, huh? Yeah, the other two have given up. I did ask them to come, but... Well, it doesn't matter to me. I'll that seems like it matters to, to you. <laughs> I mean, you don't need that many people to smack you to keep you awake. Well, this is for all training. I'm starting gotcha. to get used to training while doing total concentration breathing. I still can't keep it up for the whole day unless I really get myself pumped up. Even so, the longer I continue doing it, the greater my stamina becomes. Nice. Holy shit. <clears throat> all right. Just gotta get cardio going. The worst. All right, Butterfly Queen. Is he going to be able to beat Canal? You can do it! Still not getting that. Oh, maybe she made a sound. Interesting. I'm not far behind her. I can do this. She's running with no arms. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> She's like, what? Like, do you want to get up, maybe? Yeah. Ah, oh, beautiful. Thank you for your training. Zenitsu, Inosuke. <laughs> I'm not helping you with them. All right, can he break the pot? I don't get how Canal was able to break a massive one of those. That's just so much more than this. Maybe it's not like a blowing thing, but like a vibration thing. <laughs> but he did the smallest okay. one. All you have to do is break this huge gourd. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great. Perfect. Not good. So they're seeing the marked progress. Mm -hmm. Looks like Tanjiro's already gone off to train. And at this hour of the morning? Working hard isn't my thing. Slaving away day in and day out is exhausting. Uh, Juntaro, 
little baby. Because I was left Tiny behind. bird. But I can't seem to get the hang of anything Tanjiro shows me. <laughs> it must be because I'm a lost cause, isn't it? <laughs> Did you just agree with me? Oh. Can you be so cruel? That's so mean. Can you to say something like, you're doing your best even just this once? <laughs> Work harder, you, you suck. <laughs> Damn. Not living up to the birds' expectations. Yeah. Their soaring expectations. Well, taking the meds. All right. Interesting. Let's go, Monitsu. What time All right. Is trying to <laughs> Did he say his name completely wrong? Monitsu. <laughs> Yeah, right? Yeah, he, it was that I thought he was maybe saying like let's go somewhere. No, with Tony with uh Tanjiro there was a Taisho era secret where it's like he gets Tanjiro's right name right once every seven times. So I'm assuming uh, it's the same with Zenitsu. That's funny. What Tanjiro is trying to master is a skill called total concentration constant. By doing total concentration breathing all day and all night, your stamina level will skyrocket. <sighs> Okay. They have been getting winded pretty quick. Yeah. Shall we try our hand at it? <laughs> Yikes. Go like this, and your lungs will expand. Your blood shakes, your sinew feels like boom, boom. And that's when you gotta stop. <laughs> nice. Your it's sinew feels like practice. boom, boom. Talking about a skill I'd call very elementary. So what's the problem here? Dang. No, it's like, um, it it's really effort. easy, you stupid fucks. It just requires effort, you, she said. Have you, have you considered trying? <laughs> Tell me, are you not able to do it? <laughs> oh. I was sure it'd be child's play for you, Inosuke. She's We're getting him back in the game. Mm -hmm. I guess it was just Goading him on. Oh, well then, don't you worry. You can't do it, and that's that. Filthy! <laughs> what do you think that? I can't do it! Talk to me like that again, and I'll mess you up big time! <laughs> it's funny because it's Aaron. Please yeah, that's... And it's... it's so hip. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Looks like he's gonna eat shit. <laughs> Alright, they're catching up. Still no speaking. Okay. Even too interesting. I had a theory that was maybe she only talks to people who are above her in power level. Oh. Because she made one sound with Tom Drew. It's like maybe she was starting to Right. Respect maybe him. that was like a, oh, he's so powerful thing. Yeah. <laughs> deciding if she's going to go help. <laughs> or decide if she's going to speak for the day. Like... What is going on? No. Oh, is this her origin? <laughs> Terrible. I hurt. I was hungry. I was sad. I felt hopeless. I was in agony. I was lonely. Such was my life. But then one day, I heard a snapping sound. Oh. Okay. What would you make of that? That... <laughs> Sounds to me like dissociation. Yeah. Just things get so bad that you just pretend they're not. Like, acknowledging that it's real would be... So maybe that's why she's silent. Maybe that it, like, manifests or just, like, kind of takes hold other places. That's just this, like, so unsustainable long term. Yeah. Dang. And she seems so at peace and that it's just really deeply buried trauma. Yeah. Wow, that was such a tragic story told so quickly. That was very fast. I'm, okay, is there a possibility that she, like, did some healing in between then and now? Because it really seemed like she said, a never bunch felt of bad... Sense, which means it would be still till now, right? Right, yeah. Um... No, you're right. Yeah. That's a thing. It's what? like, dang. And she, I guess she just puts it into her craft. But, Little wow. mental box. 
Oh, that's... Oh, is that the mentor of the teacher? This is somebody that Interesting. is like the grand teacher in this situation. Okay. And all the butterfly I themes. Never knew pain again. Living in poverty. Even having my parents sell me off. It didn't oh my make God. me feel sad. Excuse me. Do you have a minute? Huh? <laughs> Why is that child all tied up? Is she oh boy. Ill, perhaps? Isn't it obvious? She's dirty and Yes, the tiny and child. She might try to escape. Hello there. How are you? My name is Kane Kocho. What is your name? She doesn't have a name, all right? She never got one. Happy now? Now go away. Oh. oh. Please don't touch my sister. Oh, this is her sister. The, deal with the one two? that passed. If you're so interested in her, then buy her. Very well then, we will. Is this enough? Okay. Oh. Hey! Get back here! You should hurry and pick all that up! There's a strong wind and a hungry crowd. Throws money in his eyes like Are sand. Love it. She's so Aww. young. Reminds me of Mikasa a lot. Yeah. With like the, the look in her eyes is very mm -hmm. Mikasa. Yeah. Just the like panic but shut down. Yeah. Like she, I mean just how Mikasa was when she had just exactly. watched her parents die. Yeah. Sister, what do we do? This little girl is completely helpless. She can't do anything on her own. She has to be told. She won't even eat unless I say to. No matter how hungry she is. Oh. oh. I thought you were looking at me because I do that. So, never mind. No, I was just looking because it's sad. Oh, that was really sad. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. I Right, so there I, like, is made, a situation. I made like a little smile, but it wasn't because it's funny. Yeah, there are it's situations where I'm like, eat, please. <laughs> no. What are we going to do with her? Now, now, don't you worry so. I hate to see that smile I love disappear. I'm serious. Taking a kid under our wing who can't even think for herself is reckless. Well, you do have a point. She Interesting to know she grows up to be so powerful. Yeah, right? Next time you're on your own, flip this coin to help you make a choice. Does okay. that sound good? Oh, come on! How can you be so cross with Kanao here? As long as one is given a chance, a person's soul will open up. Oh, I just thought of something sad. It's interesting that now the sister who's so brash and angry is really sweet. It's almost as if after her sister passed, she was like, that light needs to go on. on in the world. Yeah. Even though she speaks that way, though, her actions are still the angry. Right. Which is, that's fascinating. Yeah. That's it. You got this, any 2 Don't give up. You're doing great. <laughs> Yeah! Positivity. Yeah! Inosuke! Inosuke! Hey, they're bringing a reforged Nichimin swords now! For real? Yeah. The new That's ones. Crazy. That's crazy. That's Haganesca's scent! I smelled it on the crow. Um, why? How have you been since it, we... <laughs> I'm concerned. <laughs> Probably pissed because he broke his sword. <laughs> He's like, I made that for you. How dare you snap my precious sword in two? Uh, yeah. You got a lot of that, boy. Uh, Whoa. That animation was crazy. I did almost die. My opponent was really strong. Excuses, excuses, excuses. The only person you have to listen to. The mouth freaks me out. There's no way I would have just snapped like that. Oh my god. I'm going to kill you. Oh my god. He's upset. Yeah. Training regiment. Thanks. What can I say? Haganeska is very passionate. He is. He loves his swords more than any person. 
Even among other sword makers, he is one of a kind. I can believe it. <coughs> oh, you may address me as Kanamori. I was the one who forged Master Inosuke's swords. I hope they will be useful in battle. <laughs> Whoa, they're blue. Interesting. Maybe oh, he's they're changing. changing color. Ah, beautiful, aren't they? The dull sheen of that indigo gray hue is wonderful. A fine color for a sword. How do you like the hilts on them? This is actually the first time I've ever forged blades for a dual wielder. Master Inosuke? Oh. Hmm? Is he going to make the jagged part? Oh. <laughs> All right. Good. I'm going to skin you alive! <laughs> Are you trying sorry, to me? Please <laughs> Better now. That's so funny. Oh, <laughs> not again. Dirty swine, because he's literally a boar. That's funny. <laughs> he was so calm, too. Dang. All right. My body's stronger now. I can't wait to swing my Nichirin sword. She must be great at training With if her propensity hands. was towards listening. Oh! Oh shit. I did it! And now what? He beat her in the test. You can win! Don't let up for a second! You can do this! The veins bulging. Yeah. I grabbed it! Let's go! This water smells bad. I shouldn't splash it on her. <laughs> <laughs> it's an equal win. Got the water! It still counts, right? Yeah, I think he still wins either way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he won, but respectfully. The way he's celebrating is really funny. That's very cute. Three boulders. Wow. All right, he's getting his mojo back. Your jaw is as good as new. You can close your mouth now. Since you're in physically good health, you're fit to carry out your missions now. So I'm done training? Yes. Next is infield combat. Oh, before I forget, there's something I wanted to ask you. Have you ever heard of the Hinokami Kagura? I have not. This is the oh, fire dance he did. I, okay. Well then, what about fire breathing? Never heard of it. Well, these are techniques that I, I learned in my family growing up. I would have bet Rengoku had a fire breathing form. He I looks see. like fire. So you're right? I feel like that would have made sense with the character fire design. Breathing. Flame breathing does exist, but that's not fire breathing. They're different? They're oh, it's flame breathing. I don't quite know the details myself, but I do know that they're very strict about the exact phrasing. Flame breathing must never be referred to as fire breathing. The flame Hashira, Rengoku, might know yep. something about this technique, but unfortunately, he's out on a mission. Can never be referred to as fire. Okay. And thank you as a fire breather. Mm. And he's out on a mission. When I see him again. He's got his quest to go yes. talk to Rengoku. Mm -hmm. You'll do great things. Cute. Thanks. Encouragement. That's nice. I think after their chat, they probably... Have more of an understanding of each other's goals. Yeah, definitely. Quite the turnaround in their relationship from the start. Yeah, right. She still hasn't gotten up. Yeah, she went through some battling back yeah, then. That was I tough. You said you could sleep as much as you wanted to recover all your strength. Even so, when you don't open your eyes, I worry a bit. Guess what? In not too long, I'll be leaving this place. My body's healed. And I'm stronger. I'm still practicing the new techniques, too. And those two should be with me as well. Having them close gives me courage to turn you back into a human. I have to defeat strong demons and then send their blood to Miss Tamayo. Am I capable of doing that? I know you can do it, big brother. Whoa. Like... What? 
through dreams? Telepathic? Or maybe he was just hearing it from the past. Or mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just, just stay Yeah. Like internal. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to be like, what? She's <laughs> talking. Connection? Yeah. Ooh, a train. Alright, CGI. I'll, I'll let you know the name of the movie is called Mugen Train. Whoa. Mugen Train. Oh. 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 Horrifying. Like all very much. You can read my mind? This is bad. What is bad? Finish your thought. Please! Oh Please my god. Oh. Oh my god. What? You just gonna devour him. Oh. All right. Perfect. So that is it for episode 25 of Demon Slayer. What a great episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed that episode. And are excited for more coming every Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait, these episodes of Demon Slayer and My Hero Academia and Code Geass are all posted to Patreon right now in their extended uncut forms. We have a lot to discuss before we do that. Where are we headed? All right, let's review. Question one, Jinchuriki87 asks, asking Shinobu about the Hinokami techniques, she reveals to Tanjiro that there is a strictly enforced phrasing between flame and fire breathing, where Goku uses flame. What do you think the difference could be between the two? Okay, that's very interesting, because in my head, they're kind of the same thing. My intuition would be that flame has more of a, like, controllable aspect whereas fire is more like like i think fire and i think just like dumping a bucket of water whereas flame is like a laser pointer interesting i see it as this is my first inclination it could be totally i was wrong. like i forgot you hadn't seen this show and i was like don't you know no i don't <laughs> mine is uh i think flame breathing sounds like a fire already exists and you're using it versus fire breathing sounds like you're producing the fire interesting because like i feel like flame is already existent fire and fire can be the ignition of a fire i don't know okay I, maybe it's pretty like, lost maybe it's like a negative aspect not in like a bad way i mean just like in a what if it's like a someone who can fire breathe can like if they're in a room with a fire they can like get rid of it but that's mm. not true of flame. Like they could move the flames. Yeah. Like if a fire breather and a flame breather walked into a room with a fire, I think the fire breather would be able to put it out, whereas the flame breather would be able to like move it places. I, I think that's a good, uh, interesting idea. The one thing I'll say is I think we haven't seen many breathing forms that use the environment. It's mostly from the sword. Mm -hmm. Like I think that there's something that people say this like shatters their viewing of the show at times, but the fact that the elemental breathing might not actually be water, it's just a representation of the sword technique. Yeah. So in that way, maybe, maybe that, you know what? Ooh, here's another thing. Maybe his dad is a legendary demon slayer who was a fire breathing demon slayer. And only that specific Hinokami dance is known as fire breathing. Okay. Whereas any other thing is known as flame breathing because there has to be a distinction because of how powerful Hinokami can be interesting like maybe that All they right. cl claim it you know what i mean yeah yeah but anyway let's go to our second question it's a good mystery question two ashley garcia asks what are your thoughts on canal now that you've seen her past and the flat and the fact that she will flip a coin to decide her fate or decision making okay knowing her backstory and knowing that the like situational inability to make a choice is coming from a place of just being so terrified as a child that you're just like frozen like that's yeah. so so sad in terms of how the way that, that manifests will like impact her life i'm actually thinking that could potentially be a good thing because it's kind of in line with my target parking lot theory mm. so my target parking lot theory there's a target near us and there's always this one spot that is open and it's the first one that you see. And so everyone drives past it because they're like, oh, well, it's like a shitty spot. And if that one's open, there are probably better ones. And then there never are. It's always completely packed except for that one. And if you had just taken that spot when you first get there, you would be in and out sooner yeah. than if you like circled a bunch of times, found a better spot mm -hmm. and then... Yeah. We 
So in a situation where like the detriment is that you can't make a choice, recognizing that a decision is better than none and flipping a coin to demonstrate that is like a really great way to like remove that decision from yourself and give it like a very strict set of rules that make sense if that's like a weird thing for you and also you're still in control of the decision making by flipping the coin rather than depending on asking someone else super super true like i think it's the it's an interesting tool to give somebody because it's like sure you'd rather than be able to make just the right decision rather than leave it up to chance but like at least they're making a decision like exactly mm-hmm. yeah i think it's gonna be maybe she'll get past the coin eventually and oh have you ever seen the thing that's like if you're trying to decide between two things flip a coin exactly and not in the sense that then decide whatever the coin says but if you get an answer and you're disappointed yeah. pick the other one totally. if you get that's an answer and you're secretly this. like yeah then you know that you made the right one that's what i think she, like i'm wondering whether that's going to end up being what she yeah. kind of does and, or she, maybe she'll have a decision where i'm it, picturing a decision yeah. yeah i'm picturing a decision where like she's like i don't know we'll see flips it and then goes oh that's wrong yeah and there's a moment of like I trust my intuition yeah. more than I trust this like magic eight ball situation exactly. I've lived by my whole life, totally. which would be a really cool character moment. That would be really cool. Uh, we'll have to see if that ends up happening, but let's go to our final question. Final question. Miss Breadloaf asks, the demon that is seen on the train at the end of the episode, do you think this could be an upper rank or lower rank member of the 12 Kisaki, or maybe just an ordinary demon? It looked pretty menacing. Yeah, that was a it, very scary um, thing. I, I'm going to lean towards non-12 Kizuki. I'm thinking the same thing just because I feel like if it was a member of the 12 Kizuki, they would have like... I just feel like they would have shown it differently. Like, I don't really have a Like, a they would have done some sort of move or something, something that to demonstrate it, power. Yeah, like, or I don't like, a, like a badge or something. Yeah literally anything and maybe we missed it yeah but my intuition is no i think it's a generic demon and i also think that rengoku this is his mission Mm, so i think tanjiro is going to intersect with this but we will only be able to find out in the next episode but that's about it are we excited for the season finale of demon slayer episode 26 can't wait all right let's get it let's go 